Let's finish up section 2.1 with determining function values from a graph uh, using the graph of a function that's been given to you below, but we don't have the equation. All we have is the picture of the graph, and we want to find function values, and we haven't done that yet. So it's graphical interpretation of function values. First of all, just remember that each of these ordered pairs is an x comma y. So I've already given you what the ordered pairs are. All we have to do is figure out, well, how does that relate to function notation? So let's look at the first one. We want to find, want to find the value of f of 1.5. Well, since this is our graph of f of x, we'll use this graph to find that. f of 1.5 basically means go and find the ordered pair that has an x value of 1.5. And what we'll do is we'll just give the answer as the y value. So let's find an ordered pair that has an x of 1.5. It's about right there. Simple enough. Now what we want to do is grab the y value. That's our answer. So f of 1.5 is just its y value, 3.9375. That's graphical interpretation of function values. So the first value is your x. The second value is basically your f of x. So for the next one, if I put in a value of negative 2.2, I need to find its corresponding y coordinate or y value. So let's find an ordered pair that has an x value of negative 2.2, easy enough to find, stands around here. Its y value is my f of negative 2.2. So f of negative 2.2 is negative 4.0656. That's f of negative 2.2. This one is f of 1.5. Let's look at this last one, working with these <coughs> ordered pairs. Here I'm saying, okay, a little bit different. I've got a y value of negative 1.8081. Let's go look at our graph and see if we can find the x value that corresponds to that y value. Well, let's dig around, look more at our ordered pairs, and I find a y value of that to be right here. If that's the y value, what's the corresponding x? Simple enough, x is 2.1. Finally, last thing, let's find the zeros of this function. And remember, a zero is another name for what? x-intercept. So let's go along the graph and find the places where the graph crosses the x-axis. There's one, two, three. So three spots, and those are our zeros, and we can list them just as the numbers themselves, or we can list them as their ordered pairs. And that's it for 2.1. So graphical interpretation of function values. What if I asked you this? Let me just throw in an extra little thing. What if I wanted you to find f of 0 for this function? You would go to the graph, find where the x value is 0, which is there, and what's the ordered pair? Well, that's the ordered pair 0, 0. When x is 0, y is 0. What if I wanted you to find f of 2? Go to the graph, find the x value of 2, and see what the ordered pair is. Well, that's 2 comma 0, so the y value is 0. So you have the assignment here from the textbook. Always do the odds, because after you do that, you can check your answers in the back of the book. And then uh, I'll always have application or critical thinking problems that I'd like you to do. And you will definitely see these on uh, your tests, your midterm, your final, and possibly your chapter tests. So make sure you do those and review them and look at those. 
And that's it.